what up, what up, what up, we back. Now, Sunday was a disappointing loss for us against the Chicago Bulls, this is a but we won't move past that because the Bucks came back with two impressive wins, one against Charlotte. Now let me run through these stats for you because it was just an all around good game for the Bucks. Um, Tony Snell, he went off, he had a career high 26 points. Um, he started off the game with 5 of 7 in the first quarter, finished with 26 points on 10 of 14 shooting. The four shots he missed were from the three point line where he went 4 of 8. Um, Giannis had 20 points and 8 rebounds. Middleton, 14 points, 5 rebounds. Malcolm Brogdon, efficient 14 points on 6 of 7 shooting and 10 assists. And Monroe, who had 13 points on 6 of 7 shooting, 8 rebounds and 5 assists. So the ball was moving around. They were getting good shots, and they were making good shots. Um, I think the first half they ended with 72 points, shooting 70. What, what was it? 73 percent. Like that's unbelievable for a Milwaukee Bucks team. <sighs> Let me just tell you how happy I was on that game. And then, you know, I had my video ready to post yesterday about that game then I forgot that it was a back to back so this game against the Boston Celtics yesterday now that was a testing game I think we led for the majority of the game um, I came in late uh, to the game but I watched it from I believe um, halftime to the end of the game so I can't speak on anything in the, in the, in the first half of the game but from what I saw in the second half, how the Bucks stayed in composure as the Celtics made a comeback to tie it up, hey, like, I'm proud of this team. This team, let me t let me tell you, because if this was last year, we would have folded down the stretch. Matter of fact, if this if this was early in the season, we would have folded down the stretch. So it's good to see um, the progress that the young players have made. You know, from Giannis when he was a rookie to now, like, this nothing but composure now. Like, they're looking like a good playoff team. And they, I bet they feel like a playoff team. And from what I'm watching, they just, it just looks like they just, they're just ready for the playoffs. Um, let me run down these stats with you. Middleton, 19 points, 6 rebounds, 5 assists, 2 steals, and 1 block. Giannis. 22 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 3 steals, and 3 blocks. Monroe, 16 points, 8 rebounds, 3 assists. And Brogdon, the man of the game, my rookie of the year. 16 points, 4 rebounds, 9 assists. He scored 6 of those 16 points, and he got 3 of those assists in the 4th quarter. And this is while guarding Isaiah Thomas and then on the offensive end having um, Avery Bradley the Celtics best defender defending him and hit the, the last second shot to put him up by three to seal the game <sighs> Brogdon he's a very very mature rookie like 24 years old he plays like he's been in the league already but uh, we don't have the fifth seed right now because Atlanta unfortunately won against the Philadelphia 76ers But we're still tied Now Hopefully Atlanta can slide a little bit, you know help us out a little bit But let me know what you think Let me know what you think about these this game against the, the Boston Celtics because uh, To me it was one of the best played games this season But as always if you're new subscribe like the video comment leave a comment down there let me know what you think like i, I want to know what you think let's do all that good stuff and until next time i'm out peace This is a Chucky Beat production.